Well, the deep freeze is over. I'm back in the garden. This is the frugal gardener, and I've really been anxious to show you guys what has happened here. This is my crate wall garden. We just went through, when I say just, I waited to make this video about a week ago. We had 11 straight days of sub-freezing temperatures. I'm talking about below 32 degrees and a couple of nights that went down into single digits. And usually in the fall, I'll do a video and I'll explain to you guys, keep your plants off of the ground in the winter and you have a better chance of them surviving. I moved these from up here down to here for several reasons. I did not know it was going to be that cold for that long. This was not set up to survive that, that kind of a uh, temperature. This is open because I did have this top over top of it, this black top here. So what happened after 11 days of freeze and temperatures? Well, I took a few precautions, so I don't want to get ahead of myself. I planted these, I, I, put, I set this up close to the house so that I can get some heat, some warmth from the house, also less wind. So more heat, less wind, high up off the ground. Those three things all worked in my favor. And this is polycarbonate that I've used from the old house. This is obviously just one sheet. I put this over top, but when temperature dropped down for so low for so long, I knew this wasn't going to cut it because it's not secure. I had something on top to keep this from, from blowing off because in addition to seven, eight inches of snow, we also had high winds. So uh, it was quite, quite a mess and quite a challenge. I took this off and didn't, re put, didn't put it back on and I let the snow cover the plants because that provided insulation. And then I covered this back up again. And finally, after the wind storms, the snow storms, the freezing cold, uh, I took it off and in the meantime, I prayed. <laughs> so this is the result of 11 days in the deep freeze. What do you know? They survived. Some, some have done better than others, but if, as you can see, like this really didn't do too much at all. These are doing okay. A few of these are actually thriving. These are doing quite well. This is a little bit iffy. This is doing okay. The problem is these were planted late, so I don't know how big they're going to get, but it worked. This is why I tell you guys, take precautions. I did not know, I've never gone through 11 days of the temperatures not going to the mid 30s or low 40s during the day. So <laughs> I didn't know exactly how this was going to turn out. So here we are. Every single one of these are appear to still be alive. Even the one here that's um, looking a little <laughs> a little sad. It looks like there's new growth coming up here, but we'll have to wait and see. The bottom line is, if you take precautions, if you are uh, diligent about listening to the forecast and um, protecting your plants, then more than likely they will survive. Now I do have to add, these are brassicas that were made for the coal. Now I did a video not too long ago and I had lettuce out and that wasn't, <laughs> that wasn't gonna make it. The um, dinosaur kale also uh, did not make it. 
but um, cabbage and um, uh, collard greens, they are uh, hardy. And in most cases, if you give them a little help, they'll pull through. So that's it for today, guys. I hope you are enjoying this series. I hope you have subscribed. If you didn't, please do. And uh, feel free to repost this video. Tell your friends. I got some big things coming up for this spring and this summer. It's my first year on the homestead. And um, it's, it's kind of a learning curve. It's a wake-up call. I don't have my mini greenhouse anymore. This is all makeshift. I didn't really have time to put up to put my high tunnel to use. It's actually being used for storage right now, but I have time to get myself together between now and next winter. So this is all going to be different. So stick with me and watch my transformation. But until then, I am the Frugal Gardener. And remember, when you grow your own food, you'll always know where it comes from. Catch you guys in a few days on the next video. Have a great one.